So I pulled out some face palettes that I really want to reacquaint myself with. I pulled out a few that are discontinued and a few that are still available because I wanted to have kind of a mix of both. So let's just talk about the products I'm going to be using for the next couple weeks. This is from Laura Geller. I don't really see this on her website anymore unless they're like redoing it, but I remember this is like one of their biggest products and it's the Baked Color and Contour Little Palette. Um, they don't sell this anymore, but they do still sell these products separately. It's three baked products. You get a bronzer, a blush, and a highlighter. I bought this on Poshmark because I just couldn't live without having one. And I always wanted one and I could never find them on their website. So I, I bought it on Poshmark and I really like it. But I love it so much and it's discontinued so I never use it. But since they still sell those products, I really want to re, uh, reacquaint myself with it. This is, well, it's gonna be hard to show. This is one of my favorite products of all time. I talked about this before in a video like about really good packaging and I just love it. It's from Urban Decay and it's called, it's called Stay Naked Threesome and I have the shade Rise. The packaging is just A plus. It is slim, it feels good in your hand. It has a little bit of weight to it, but not too much, but it's not super light either. It feels like a really high quality product. And then in here you get a bronzer, a highlighter, and a blush. And this blush is like a beautiful coral cockatiel. I love it. I cannot wait to use this. And I always want to do a review on this and I always forget. Maybe I'll do it uh, sometime in the next two weeks since I'm going to be using that every day or regularly. Next face palette I brought out is from Believe Beauty. And what usually keeps me from using this palette is that highlighter. It's... This is why I don't love these kinds of palettes. Like the blush might work, but the bronzer is going to be too light or the highlighter is too intense. Like three products very rarely work perfectly for me in a face palette. And this is a perfect example of that. The highlight, it just doesn't make any sense with these two colors, especially on my face and for what I like. So I rarely use this, but I am going to use it for the next couple weeks and re get to know it because uh, this bronzer and blush are actually really nice. I also pulled out an Hourglass palette and I've been wanting to get to know Hourglass powders again. Uh, I haven't used this in forever. This is the Ambient Lighting Edit Volume 4 and I've purchased few of these kind of ambient palettes they put out during the holidays and I use them for a little while and then I get kind of annoyed with how small the pens are. And the pens aren't small on their own, they're just small for the brush I want to use. Like this bronzer, no matter how I try to get it, I'm always going to touch the blush a little or touch the powder, which wouldn't, I wouldn't mind too much, but I don't know, I kind of just get annoyed with it after a while with how like I can't I can't just isolate one product with my brush unless I just don't know what I'm doing. But you get six powders in here, three of their ambient powders. I think a couple of these might be highlighters and then a blush, two blushes and a bronzer. Um, they put these out every single year. So if you're looking at this and you're like, oh my God, I have to have that. Don't buy one on Poshmark and spend a million dollars on it. They're going to put one out for holiday again. And they usually all look the same anyway. So I'm actually really excited to um, to use that. And then my precious, precious baby, the Urban Decay Gwen Stefani Blush Palette. Ah! This just makes my heart swell. I just loved everything about this Urban Decay Gwen Stefani collection. And at the time, I didn't, I didn't have any money. Like I didn't, I couldn't buy everything. So I bought just the eyeshadow palette and this blush palette was one of the biggest regrets of my life. And I'm not joking. I know that sounds so dramatic, but I thought about it all the time, all the time. And I always wanted it so bad. And my boyfriend, of course, I've talked about this palette all the time because I always wanted it. And every now and then it would pop into my head and what a big regret it was, like just randomly in the day. And I'd be like, oh, I always wish I had that palette. <laughs> and my boyfriend bought it for me for Christmas, I think a couple of years ago. It was the biggest surprise of my life. And I love this palette so much. So much that I never use it. Like it's my little prized possession. So I'm gonna use it. You get six beautiful blushes in here and I'm gonna use it to my heart's content for the next two weeks. And then I brought out one more. I had to, I was like, ah, oh, let me just get one more. Although this is already a lot of face palettes. This is from Kaja and it is the Play Bento Blush and Bronzer Little Trio. This is a shade called Butter Up. You get a uh, blush here on the top. Cat, I'm trying to do something. Okay, he's like scratching over there. He always tries to bury his food, I don't know why. Um, and then you get a highlighter, and then on the bottom, you get a cream bronzer. 
So you get this cute little face trio in this nice little compact thing. Um, I completely forgot about this and I am very excited to get reacquainted with it. This shop my stash might go on for three weeks. I don't know because I have a lot to use. Um, and then the other products I'm going to pull in, Hard Candy Sheer Envy Stay and Slay uh, Setting Spray. This is their... It says it helps to reduce transfer of makeup. So I bought a few um, Hard Candy products because I wanted to kind of get to know the brand. This brand has never appealed to me at all, but I do have a bronzer and a blush from them that I absolutely love, although they don't make those two anymore. I bought this, I bought the like summer, their new summer bronzer and a highlighter and oh boy, they have the worst cheap makeup smell to them. They smell like gasoline and I cannot get over it. So I'm gonna use a setting spray because I wanna find something in the brand that I really loved for my haul. And then I'm gonna pull in this little oldie but a goodie. This is the Makeup Forever Ultra HD Foundation. For some reason, it will not focus on this product, but this is the foundation that I'm gonna use all week. Really lightweight, light coverage, love the way it looks on the skin, oldie but a goodie. Oh, primer and powder. Let's see. Let's see what I have here. Let's grab something from the back. The back is always neglected, I think. Oh, oh, I'm going to use that. Oh, you know what? Let's grab these two right here. This is the Revlon Rose Glow Face Gloss. I've had this since I think last year and I've probably used it three times. I just completely forget it exists. It's a hydrate and luminate, luminize primer and it's 80% water. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. And then remember this, the Velvetizer. This powder like made everybody lose their minds um, because it's a powder that you mix in with foundation. And I guess people had never heard of that before. I had never heard of it and everybody lost their minds about it. And then another thing people could not get over was that they were reusing packaging. So they had another powder, but they just put this label over that powder to like, I'm guessing just reuse the packaging and people like thought it was weird, but I thought it was pretty cool. Like, you know, why they already had the packaging, why not just reuse it? Anyway, I never actually tried to mix this in with anything. I got this at TJ Maxx, I think. Um, and I will try it out. Uh, I think it'll work kind of, We'll see how it works with the Makeup Forever foundation. Uh, oh, I'm actually really like intrigued now to try that out. And then let's grab out a concealer. Oh, this is a keep or declutter moment right here. This is the Milani Supercharged Brightening Under Eye Tint. I thought this was way too pink or like peachy color. And it's too obvious. Like you also have to put a concealer on top of it, which I do not like doing. So. I feel like I already want to declutter it, but I will give it another shot. And then, ooh, let's bring out, ooh, wait, hold on. Ooh, ooh, what do I want to use? No, let's bring out this. Glossier Stretch Concealer. Okay, this is the shade G11. This is like, um, this is a concealer I have to be in the mood to use because it is so sheer, like it's sheer to light. Uh, I kind of have to feel in the mood for that kind of makeup because if I'm wearing foundation, this concealer is going to do nothing for under eyes or anything like that because it's going to look funny with your uncovered under eyes and then your full coverage face. So this is a concealer I have to be in the mood to use, but I think it's going to work well with the old Makeup Forever foundation because this is kind of light and so is this. So I think it's going to work out well. And then let's just randomly pick a mascara. What's this one? Oh my goodness, Morphe, make it big. I lost this. I lost this mascara. I think I used it one time and I went to do a video, I think it was like reviewing my Ulta haul or something and I had no idea where the mascara went. I literally used it once and it was gone forever. And I, where did I find it? Like, why is this in there? Oh my goodness, I, anyway. I'm so excited. I will definitely use this. This was a mascara I was so excited to get. It has an hourglass wand, which eh, not my favorite, but oh my god, I am, yes, 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 yes.